Well, guys, we are back with actually this would be my first ever video for like about four months ago. This is will be my first video, and if you don't forget, this is White Strike. I bet you some people have forgot. But if you can understand me with this better voice, but if you can't, please tell me in the comments. And I will try to do better, but let's just wait for sector four, four to load up. Which is taking forever, but I already read like all the story. I just want to make videos of it. I don't feel like for a minute. Okay, so here's page. So let's get this started. Bow on a pond bone. Falls from the shaft. Sending light echoes throughout the entire ventilation shaft. This will, this will not go unnoticed. You quickly free yourself from the massive bones. And frankly, crawl your way forward on, into the unknown. You reach another guy, grade and attempt to push it open. Upon falling, you decide to kick it open. You try around and give it one hard kick. And it merely pops open. Well, that was p pretty easy. P not. You decide to try and kick it open. You turn around and give it one more hard kick. And it merely pops. Oh, I just read that. It quickly exits the ventilation shaft and enters what appears to be a mansion area, but something was different. From within these tunnels, everything appeared to be normal. To the left, you see factory workers assembling pipes and tubes into a smelter, and the other side came perfect rainbows. You can't, you can't believe what you were seeing. It's just how you imagine a normal factory would operate. Workers were smiling, dressed in blue suits. Many had clipboards and were taking notes. This was normal, but it couldn't be real. You glance down at the catwalk you were on and see a wall made not of the normal white clouds, but a quiet thundering fog. Many warning signs are posted about the door. You glance back at the workers and notice a brief flicker, and one of the workers you were focused on disappears, and a few seconds later, another pony walks up and takes his place. You glance beneath the catwalk of it and notice projectors sit clearly fashioned to the bottom of it. You step away from the edge of the railing, not nothing surprises you now. You turn back to the thundering wall and approach it. The door is surprisingly unlocked. Slenderman, no, we'll go in there. You open it and peer around the door, seeing no danger. You walk forward, the door closes quietly, but you get sworn. You hear footsteps on the catwalk. You had just come from what you just entered appears to be a factory portion of the complex. You glance around and notice nothing of great importance. You walk towards the control panel next to a machine. Upon approaching the you notice a note tied to the content titled Purge. To today's console operator, we will need to purge the factory of moisture today. The pressure levels have reached too high. When clearance has been given, pull this lever here to activate the fans. If you see overhead, they should dry out all the moisture in the factory. Just make sure that the clearance has been given. We don't want any some pony who is still working to be so, slowly sucked up into the blades just because of flag. You glance overhead at the incredibly large metal flans and hanging from the ceiling. You hear a small click. You tie back to the door. You venture through slowly. The door opens to full and tail in position with three seconds to begin to close. Your eyes run into the closing door. Reveals the figure of the pony. You wonder what are the drawings, but your instincts tell you in much words. It's dr it's dressed in a suit similar to that of the ones in the other room, except it was pure black. The figure said, "Turn towards you and appears to smile." Fucking Slenderman! It's so fucking Slenderman! I swear to God, Jesus God, it's fucking Slenderman. I swear to fucking god, it's god motherfucking slender man. It's fucking Rainbow Dash, fucking Antonix. The Chris. Oh god, now I gotta wait another flipping 20 minutes just for chapter 6 in my fucking load. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh -huh. Nope. I'm starting to fucking dislike fucking 
Rainbow Dash. I'm starting to fucking dislike her. So damn bad. I'm starting to fucking dislike Rainbow Dash. So motherfucking bad. Starting. Okay, the figure was bigger than you. And appeared to be a lot stronger as well. It spread its wings and took her from the ground at a landing speed. Startled by this landing fly, fast fly, you accidentally step backwards into the lower on the control panel. A small click is heard and the fans overheat again begin and start instantly prodding a noticeable air current. A figure in midair flies flight toy tries to fight against the current. To come right, but you bit but you for you, but slows down dramatically before being forced to land. But there was no time to explain the situation for it was still coming after you. You dark life and attempted to escape through the catwalk, but discovered that the door was locked. You continued running through the void of factory, glancing behind you to ensure it wasn't catching up. You noticed another door straight ahead, labeled director. You quickly run through the, this door and activated the lever next to the lobby soundproof fire. A muffled but very individual. No! No, was her behind you? Sending from Femin. A glass screen slides down from above the door. Now, slightly, slightly, safer from the mysterious man. You're able to examine a her eye curls, proximity. He was wearing a black, black suit, and her tail was dyed in an unnatural black. She wore tinted goggles to hide her eyes. She pointed at you and slid her off across the bottom of her neck, turning around and walks back to the factory door. She inserts the key over the door. She turns and looks at you for a couple seconds, but then fetches through the door. The door closes itself automatically. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I'm so sorry that I had to end it so early. But it's just, I got another video on the way, and it's the same chapter. And I think I read through chapter 7. I think. I think I'm in chapter 8. I'm gonna get up for. Bye, everyone.